So the temperature increases are taking place all over the world, including in the oceans. This is the natural range of variability for temperature in the oceans. You know, people say, oh, it just naturally goes up and down, so don't worry about it. This is the range that would be expected over the last 60 years. But the scientists who specialize in global warming have computer models that long ago predicted this range of temperature increase. Now I'm going to show you recently released the actual ocean temperatures. And of course when the oceans get warmer that causes stronger storms. We have seen uh, in the last couple of years a lot of big hurricanes. Hurricane Jeannie and Francis and Ivan uh, were among them. And the same year that we had that string of big hurricanes, we also set an all-time record for tornadoes in the United States. Japan, again, didn't get as much attention in our news media, but they set an all-time record for typhoons. Previous record was seven. Here are all ten of the ones they had in 2004. The science textbooks have had to be rewritten because they say that it's impossible to have a hurricane in the South Atlantic, but the same year the first one ever hit Brazil. Summer of 2005 has been one for the books. The first one was Emily that socked into Yucatan. Then Hurricane Dennis came along and it did a lot of damage, including to the oil industry. This is the largest oil platform in the world after Dennis went through. This one was driven into the bridge at Mobile. And then, of course, came Katrina. It's worth remembering that when it hit Florida, it was a Category 1 but it killed a lot of people and caused billions of dollars worth of damage. And then, what happened? Before it hit New Orleans, it went over warmer waters. As the water temperature increases, the wind velocity increases and the moisture content increases. And you'll see Hurricane Katrina form over Florida and then as it comes into the Gulf over that warm water, it picks up that energy and gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Look at that hurricane's eye. And of course, the, the consequences were so horrendous. There are no words uh, to describe it. name could that happen here there have been warnings that hurricanes would get stronger there were warnings that this hurricane days before it hit would breach the levees would cause the kind of damage that it ultimately did cause and one question we as a people need to decide is how we react when we hear warnings from the leading scientists in the world. <laughs> 